In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the two main ways to add categories to WordPress. This is part of my WordPress skills playlist on this channel. It's linked to in the description down below if you want to check that out. I can guarantee you'll learn something new if you check out that playlist. So make sure you do. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Well, let's get started. Just so we're all on the same page, let's first take a look at what categories are. Categories are used to organize blog posts. So we have on the right-hand sidebar here a category section with the category of exercise. And on every blog post, in the list here, we have exercise as the category. If it's within that category, you can have as many categories as you want on your site. And if I click on anywhere where it has a link to the exercise category, it will show all the blog posts in this category. This is the category archive page right here. You can tell because the URL is your domain name forward slash category forward slash whatever the name of this category is. And it lists all the blog posts within that category. Adding new categories is very easy. There's a couple ways to do it. If I head into the dashboard and I hover over posts, we see there is a categories page here. We'll do that one in a minute. That's the most thorough way to add categories, but you can add them really quickly to existing posts as well. So let's just go to all of our posts. Let's go to edit on any of them. And on the right hand side, we have a categories section. Click on the arrow or click on the link to open it. And we see this post is currently in the category of exercise. We can click on add new category. Then you fill in this field. I'm gonna call this the plank because that's what this lady's doing. And this can be set as a parent category or a child category of a category that exists on your site. The reason you have those is to be even more organized. The, the parent category is the top level, for example, exercise. And then plank would be a subcategory of exercise because it's a type of exercise. So the parent category is more of an umbrella and only big sites would use this. If you were going to have the category of exercise if you want that to be a parent category and have subcategories for that, you want to have hundreds of posts in there. That's how big your site would need to be. You wouldn't make a subcategory, a child category, just for one or two posts on the plank, for example. You want to have at least 10 posts in that child category. And that's one way you can determine whether you need a child category or not. Is there enough content you can make in that category? For the sake of this example, I'm going to make the plank a child category of exercise and click on add new category and then update the post to link it to that category. And now if we view this on the front end, we see we have the category of exercise and the plank as the subcategory. If we click on the plank, it'll take us to the category page for the plank and we can see in the URL, it's a subcategory or a child of exercise. The URL is the domain name forward slash category forward slash exercise forward slash the dash plank. Clicking on there shows all the plank posts. You want to make sure that you have plenty in there, like I was saying. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So the more thorough way to add categories is if we go in the dashboard again, and then we go to posts and then categories, we see our category list on the right. This little dash means it's the child of whatever category is above it that isn't dashed. So you could have under exercise 10 different children and they'd all be right below exercise, they all have a dash. And then if you have other categories with children, they'd be justified to the left side and they'd have dashed entries below them if they have children as well. So here we can add categories in more of a robust way, like I was saying. So if we make a new category, let's call it healthy eating. And the slug is the part that goes into the URL. That's quite often just the name of the category with dashes instead of spaces. So in this case, it would be healthy eating and all lowercase as well. We're going to keep this as none, which will make it this apparent category. You can add a description here as well. This sometimes shows up on the front end of your website, depending on which theme you're using. Then we can click on add new category and that adds that new category. You can go in and edit any existing category as well by just going to edit and making any changes you need to the existing category. And the description, like I said, shows up on some themes and the where it shows up is if we go to the category page, quite often at the very top here, it will have the category name and then the blurb about the category, usually SEO optimized, and that will show a list of the posts in that category. Next, check out the WordPress skills playlist right here. You're gonna learn all kinds of stuff in there. I can guarantee it. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time.
keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.